Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 985. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. In this video here, we have a column with numbers, and we want to filter. But we want to filter by decimal. Now, if you wanted to just get numbers between 0 and 1, like these numbers here, we could simply turn on the filter and do a between filter. So let's do that. I also have some helper columns. So when I turn the filter on, it's going to think that these are part of our data set. These will be field names. Now filter, you could go up to data and then click the filter. Or we could use the keyboard shortcut Control shift l But notice one cell in the data set is selected, Control shift l Now I can simply come up here number filters, all sorts of amazing things. And there is between. We simply select our comparative operator. Now, this is greater than or equal to, so I'm going to put 0 and 1. Now, if you didn't want to include it, because this one is included, you just say is less than, right? So whichever one you want is greater than. So now when I click OK, boom, we have our and criteria, right? It has to both be greater than 0 and less than 1. Now notice when we do filter, we get these blue row numbers over here. That means it's filter. Now I'm going to turn this off, come up here, and clear. Now what about if we want these numbers, right? Because I don't know how to do a between. Or I look through, I can't think of a, a way, a built-in way here to get any number. So I would want to exclude this because there is no decimal. Exclude this because there is no decimal. But any integer with some decimal or just a decimal uh, less than 0 greater than, uh, less than 1 greater than 0, how am I going to do that? Well, a helper column. Oftentimes, if the actual built-in features to the filter don't work, you can do a true false helper column, meaning we'll have a logical formula, and filter either the true or the false. Hey, I'm going to look at the mod function. Mod function does division and gives you the remainder. So if I say, hey, take this as the numerator, comma, and divide it by 1, what would be the remainder? 0. When I get down here, the remainder will be 0.8. So this cool little formula is a way to get just the decimal part. So I copy that down there, and there it is. Now I can simply say what? I'm interested in the ones that are not equal to 0. So I say not. And the comparative operator for that is less than, greater than 0. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Now I can filter on the true. Check that out. So I could say true, and uh, it shows me all the numbers with decimals. Now, you could actually make this uh, formula a few other ways. You could um, say is equal to 0, right? Send it down. Filter on the falses. Still further, just to have a little fun. Notice it says not 0. Well, I actually could take this one. I won't do a helper column for this, but over here. and put the not function around this. I mean, this is just playing around. But what does the not function do? Not actually takes a true and makes it a false, and a false and turns it to a true. Now, I'd, uh, if I was going to choose this one, I kind of like that first one. But it'll give us the same result, right? So I kind of like that one. Now, what if you couldn't have a extra column here? Well, we could try advanced filter. Now, there's a cool aspect of advanced filter. Uh, for advanced filter, you usually put the field name in a cell and then the criteria below. But you can use the logical true-false formula in a cell as your criteria. But the cell above where the formula is has to be empty. Now, check this out. That's a formula in a cell looking at a cell in the data set, and we copy it down. But with advanced filter formula, you put it in a cell, and it will, in memory, copy it down the column as if there was an extra helper column. All right, let's go create this down here. Equals mod, and I'm going to say, hey, notice it's pointing at the data set, right? Comma 1 is not 0. All right, so there we go. Now I can come down here, go up to data, 
advanced filter. Now I'm using 2013, but all these tricks work in any version. And you could click there, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Alt A Q. Oh, now it's jumping up here because it sees the filter, but I'm going to very carefully redirect it down here. There's the data set field name and our data. I do not want to copy this particular one in, into another location. Criteria range, empty cell logical formula. That means it will copy down as if it had a helper column and was going down the column. And I'm going to click OK. And there we go. All right, a little bit about uh, filtering when we have decimals. All right, we'll see you next trip.